show you something on the way out folks. Back in the 1860s, a man named Robert Van Beck discovered an old Iron Age granite of the, the remains of what in the loch. Uh, because there's been people living around this loch for thousands of years. And now the loch's so low, you can see just a couple, it's not that exciting, it's a couple of rocks sticking out water, you can see it where the sea goes down there. That's the remains of the granite. lost for a while, you see a marker for something, but it was lost for quite a while. And now the lock's starting to get so low it's showed up again. Alright folks, welcome back to the channel, as always thank you for coming back, your support is greatly appreciated. We're here at Loch Leven Castle, that was a place where Mary Queen of Scots was held prisoner many years ago, let's go and have a look around it. So Loch Leven is the largest lowland loch in Scotland. This island has been used for the paint defence over the years. Cannons. There we go. Centre courtyard of the castle. The fact that she's a prisoner inside, it's not a bad place to be held for a year or so. Very picturesque. Don't know how rough her treatment was. Being royalty, she got let off with a bit. An old star cast. William Wallace Nice little area, picnic benches. There we go. Pretty sure we can get up here last time. Oh, it does look a bit slippy. Maybe it's a good thing. I did bring appropriate footwear, but I forgot to get changed in the car. So I'm um, Trainers are getting wet. The glassing tower. Oh, 
there's a library bed chamber mm. displays with accommodation and cellar for storing and pouring water the ribs. was an oak staircase leading up to that tower which eroded away during the lockdown it's been placed with some scaffolding
Seems no matter where I go, I'm photobombing someone's picture opportunity. Another kitchen. This is a wash of the kitchens. Bench, you can ponder life. It's wet. <laughs> it's alright. Wet ass isn't always a bad thing. Mm -hmm. No spider web. In the sunshine. Oh, it's like my head. house upper floor Second floor, first floor, I'm speaking rubbish, that's the first floor, ground floor, and entrance. There's a hatch, it needs the kitchen below. views Seating. Spoil for uh, spoil for choice for alcoves. Woeful queen.
This is indeed the window to my right. Flashing of cleavage. There's a little set of stairs. To your left. Bad sense of direction and I was taking it the wrong way. Stairs down, stairs up. I can see how you got confused. Left. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I'm doing the driving on this trip. Scaffold replaced at work. Stairs. Oh, there's a cannon. An a cannon. Yeah, pretty restricted, I'm sure again the last time we were here we could pretty much get around most of the wall, yeah, so ramparts, walls and no visitors beyond here that might have been during the old Rona and the lockdown that they weren't able to upkeep The walls. There's a camera's bit squint there. You can cock your head as you're watching. Right, I'm going for a perimeter tour now. Yeah, I just remember there's one window I haven't peeked out of due to it being a favourite for the people posing for photos as a backdrop. There's all the leaving surrounding me islands, a nature reserve now. I'm sure there's something interesting about that big house over there. I don't know what it is. Recognise that hand. And photo more picture. German cannons, never fired in anger. Bakehouse and oven.
stingy nettles. Very fine stingy nettles. Get some dock leaves as well. So if you get stung, you just rip off a leaf and rub it on the sting and it gives you some relief. Peek into the cellar of the glassical tower, what it's called. Plenty of seating outside as well, it's inside. If these are evidence of musket fire or really bad shot if it is worse than me yeah, looks like there was some cannon damage up there as well and balls. Don't think that is, it looks too neat. Tea. My Germans here today. Okay, dead ahead is Kinross House. In 1672, the Douglas family sold their estate to Sir William Bruce of Balkaski. The architect who rebuilt Holyrood House in Edinburgh between 1671 and 1679. At Loch Leven, Bruce built the stately home dead ahead of us. He clearly intended to view from Kinross House to be of the abandoned castle. By then a point of interest in the landscape. A little woodland box here as well. I say it's a nature reserve so I don't think you're supposed to be threading too far. With being a nature reserve, oh, I can see the boat coming back. Uh, being a nature reserve, um, it's home to a large number of nesting water birds. I've seen some swans on the way over. But later on in the year, you get more than 20,000 ducks, geese, and swans flock here for the winter time. And why wouldn't you? Nice and peaceful. Prison, one of the many prisons that uh, held Mary Queen of Scots for a while. And a nice wee trip, I think it's ten pounds. Let's the boat trip. And you can hang around here as long as you want. The boat comes back every 45 minutes. Um, yeah, it's worth checking out. It's one of my favourites. Thanks again for watching. Please join us again. Like, subscribe and spread the Scotty life work.